Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over the uh, technicals on uh, Seller Network. It's one I haven't done for a while. I just uh, was waiting for it to suss itself out. And just going through the cryptocurrency market, starting to notice a pattern in some of these cryptocurrencies going along with Bitcoin. Bitcoin going down into a descending wedge. A lot of these other cryptos are kind of doing the same thing, uh, more or less like Seller Network here. Um, now, the thing is here with a coin like this one, obviously, it's not finished with its uh, its correction, okay? Um, so there's going to be, obviously, a little bit more risk at play um, with a coin like this. Because if it goes down to the bottom, and it could have bottomed, let's just say it's at the bottom right there at one cent, right? It's at one cent. How long is it going to hang out that bottom before it rips out of there? You know, it could consolidate and make some weird waves and it doesn't do anything for maybe 20 days, 30 days, 60 days, something like that. And then eventually gets out there and rips. Something you want to be aware of when you deploy your capital in coins like this. So as an example, um, Morpheus Network, which is an older coin, I think it's been around since 2019 or something like that. I have to go back and check. That isn't in the obvious uptrend, right? Where once they already, already have established themselves into an uptrend, they can come back down and finish a correction and then start a rip earlier. I'll, let's say Bitcoin is going down to a bottom. Let's say Bitcoin is going up a little bit. This is going to come back down when Bitcoin dumps. Maybe Bitcoin goes up a little bit more and it comes back down and hits this trend line area, which I'm looking out for. Basically, the uh, $90, $0.98 cents and the uh, $0.88 cents for, for this coin. Once it does that, Bitcoin doesn't really need to move so much. If with a coin with an established uptrend, it comes back down and boom, it can rip right out of there. And you could, you know, really, you know, in the meantime, you could get like a, you know, a 2x move on a coin pretty quick, like this uh, situation. So you can see in June, it went up and ripped uh, to July. It did a correction to here. Um, and then from August to October, you know, it did another rip. So you can see like right there. It was a 2x and then a Morpheus network in this area. If you just got the meat of it, a 3x. So you got a, two, a 2x, 3 a 3x, or 100% and 300%. So, okay. So I just want to make you guys aware of that it, it does not necessarily mean that this is going to come down to a bottom and then just start ripping out of there immediately. They really need to establish themselves on an uptrend once they do that. So, kind of like here, up and away, back down, and it just starts ripping. Um, this is a really good uh, structure that it has. You, know, you see this fifth wave is about the same length as this uh, first wave over here, and third wave. You can see the uh, bearish divergence, and it came back down. So this is actually um, a very similar move to Bitcoin is one of the reasons why I like it. So it's a uh, ABC, and then this is your uh, whole AB descending wedge C wave for a WXY. I posted this on uh, Twitter, on my Twitter page, um, checking out Seller Network for some targets, 1.38, 1.618, right here on my Twitter. I had mentioned that. Okay, so these these are coins that, uh, you know, one of the reasons my channel doesn't uh, get many views is because I'm going over uh, higher risk coins, old coins nobody really cares about. Most people are paying attention to Bitcoin and Ethereum and uh, probably like BNB or something like that right now. So, um with that said, right now is the move is um, an ABC move, went back up into this connector wave. And then this is your A here, okay, B, and then down for a C. So um, a WXY, where this would be your W, ABC, ABC back up or three wave, and then a massive WXY, okay. Um and then targets on that are 1.38 and 1.618 on this move, guys, um, is what I would be checking out for Seller Network to uh, complete something. So let me um, put it back up there. So right in that 1.38 area is first. Now, can it, can it come back down in here and do a dump down to 1.618? It could. You want to be aware of something like that. Um, the other nice thing about this coin, it, it is doing a nice little descending wedge pattern um, down here. So I would say, you know, something like a one and then back two, three and back up for a four and right here. Um, it could be coming down, bounce and then come all the way back down into these areas on this wedge. But basically this trend, however you want to place this trend is what I'd be paying attention to for that thing to pop out. Now, these descending wedges, too. 
you know, 70% of the time they just come down and they take their time. They sit in there, sit in there, sit in there for a long time. Sometimes you got to be patient. And then 70% of them, they do pop out of there pretty, pretty aggressively. And then come back, it'll come back down, probably do a correction and then get out of there. So time for time frame, guys, you know, you're looking at at least two weeks, 30 days, maybe even 45 days for a coin like this. Okay. Um, the other area is the support area is, um, you know, significant support area in this coin. I would say it's just right in that area, guys, just right about there. Okay. For that coin, for this coin. The other thing too, is when it comes down and finishes soft on the, uh, on the three-day chart, also on the weekly chart, you might not get too much of it, but definitely on the three-day chart right here, make sure it maintains bullish divergence and certainly on the uh, on the daily chart. From that point, that third wave blasted back up, you can see in this connector and then back down, you want to probably see a little bit of bullish divergence between that one and that one, Okay from coming back down here tony it's end of the correction for uh seller network so price targets on something like this guys is going to be uh pretty hard to predict um you know once it finishes something in this this area and what is it going to roll to you know my my you know my first one would would be is a move to the uh, top of that wave or something like that so you're looking at 100 to 200 percent something like that off a wave out of there it's just all going to depend on the amount of time that's in here and then how how high is it going to rip to this area but the first area i'd be checking out for something like coin like this would be right there at the top of that wave more or less that area so from here to there okay um which would be the uh, rip that i'd be looking for something like this coin in this area a rip up to there and it's going to do a correction all the way back you know, I wouldn't say to the bottom, but something like that. You just go over to this coin and see what it corrected on this previous waves to get an idea of what it likes to do. Generally speaking, it looks like it's going to be a 6.18 correction on the second wave, more than likely. Uh, logarithmic, yeah, I would say 6.18. It's going to depend on that on that wave. You can check it on linear. Um, 7.86 on linear, it looks like it's going to be the area, so um you know plan accordingly because it's going to do something like that you know you just come over and then wherever it's going to be bottoming out next wave wherever it peaks you'll be looking for uh some divergence on the uh, lower time frame charts on that wave and then you know just back down to these areas just like that so you can see if you just got into the coin right now let's say you bought into it right now come back down dip they'd be riding a wave a hodler you know, on the second wave, months down down into the future will be at the same price. So, like I said, plan accordingly on a coin like this and get the meat of the uh, the move, okay? So, that's probably what I would suspect that something like this would sell or it's actually coming down into a nice descending wedge is what I really like about that. And I do like the wave sequence that it has over here. This wave sequence over here is nice and clean. This is a nice clean wave sequence, and uh, so far the uh, it's a really clean correction, and the uh, depth of the correction is really nice too. You know, you're looking at already 95 percent and a potentially 96, even a 97 percent drop, and the uh, time for it is looking really good too. So it took this wave um, 561 days, and now it's been in a correction since September of 21. And you'd be looking at potentially about the same amount of time. So it's going to be the equality. It's going to be more or less about the same. This correction is taking about the same amount of time as it did to make that wave. You know, just to I'll break this wave down for you um, in Elliott Waves is that in this descending wedge pattern, the um, this this wave should be shorter than this wave. If you want to go textbook rules with Elliott Waves. So what that means is this this way right here, okay, this one, and here's your two, and it's a three, and up for that four, this this fifth wave should be shorter. So it could stop short of uh, my price targets, okay? You want to be aware of something like that too. So um, just to get an idea, if you just take your extension, let's take that whole length of that wave and go back up there, and you can see um, a one-to-one -one is right down in that area. So you know, seven, eight, six. So it, it should not be as long as that wave. 
according to textbook rules of Elliott waves in a, um, not a descending wedge, an ending diagonal, an ending diagonal. So um, the uh, diagonals too, since it's ending, should be in a zigzag. So you can see right here an A, B, and then a C, and then one in a zigzag. So that needs to be a zigzag. So just make sure it's following all of those rules. You can see that you could probably have um, zigzag here up on one and then possibly there was a type of uh, ABC and then whizzed over here into a zigzag and then this looks like a five okay so this will probably be your zigzag right over here guys just to give you guys a, a you know something like that and then back down like that okay um, in the diagonals uh, looking at RS not RSI but Fibonacci uh, levels they, they're not going to make any sense, guys. It, it just does goofy stuff. It just makes no sense. It's more of the trend lines. More of the trend lines are more important with the diagonals. If you find that actual trend, they'll just, it'll bounce right off of it. It probably could come over here and bounce it and come back down there. It's going to be more important for it. And support and resistance over here. So I'm checking out, you know, what's what a bounce off of here where it has most of the support and resistance with this uh, coin, guys. If you made all the way to the end, do me a huge favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Peace.